know, when people first start training, one of the big things you want to know about is how the belt system works, how they're going to progress, what they need to be doing for each belt. When you start out, you know, you're going to probably have a belt something like this. And really, the most important promotion you get is going to be your white belt. And I'd say people talk about black belt mentalities, but the biggest, the biggest thing you can probably have through your entire journey is a, a white belt mentality that you're going to come in every session, you're going to try your hardest, you're going to, you're going to train, you're going to leave your ego at the door, and you're just going to be improving. And that's what's going to see you, you know, progress the most on your journey. After that, next promotion is uh, blue belt. I've already done a, a video talking about what the requirements are for blue belt. I'll, I'll put a link to that somewhere, maybe at the end, maybe down below. Um, but yeah, you know, getting your blue belt, that's, that's the first time you're going to be officially awarded a belt. And it's a big deal, you know, you, you should be very proud. I think most people, being a blue belt, that's the, that's the best time when you're training. That's when you're going to be enjoying training the most. Um, yeah, you know, ch cherish that time. The next belt, I think the first big belt you get, and it is a, it is a big belt, is your purple belt. The amount of time that you're going to have to put in to, to get your purple belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, you know, the belts, are, it's a long journey, the belts are a, a, a long way apart. It's about equivalent to getting a black belt in anything else. And that's not for me to be putting down other martial arts. And I will at another time. Um, but the amount of time you're going to have to invest is, is similar. And really, being a purple belt, to my mind, that, that is the coaching belt. Not that having a purple belt makes you a coach, or not that having a purple belt gives you the tools to coach well, but you have acquired enough skill, you have a sufficient understanding of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, where if you wanted to, you could coach. Um, so what do you have to do, technically, to get your purple belt? You know, there's a, there's a fundamentals curriculum that we run, and at Blue Belt, you should have an understanding of it. Purple Belt, you should have a firm application of it. That's something like, in the region of 80, 80 or more techniques, and you should know those to a, and have an application to a reasonably good standard. You are gonna have favorite posi positions, and I would expect you to have favorite positions. And at Purple Belt, there's probably gonna be positions where you would prefer not to be. Not that you don't know what to do, but you would prefer not to be there. And Purple Belt really, it's moving away from techniques and moving towards having your own style. And what do we mean by styles? So something that fits your personality and fits your body type. And some people might have a heavy crushing style. Some people might have a lazy style. It might, you know, be a fast movement based style. And I suppose we could, you know, we could break that down much further into techniques they might play. You might have, you might have a, a more of a specialist game. There might be a certain guard or a certain position you really like to play, or you might have a very general, general game. I know this sounds very vague, but when you're on the mats, you know where you want to be getting to, and you know your game, and other people will be able to identify what that is. And we've had people, you know, we've given out a few purple belts now, and that, that's a very big deal. Some people have got very intricate games where they'll have a, an answer to every little question, whereas other people might have a simpler game, and they're just gonna, you know, they're gonna work that groove, they're gonna follow that path against, and it's gonna be applicable against other purple belts. So roughly, how, how long is that gonna take? For most people, you're looking at like 400 to 700 hours of mat time. Mat time is probably a better way to look at it than years. If it was in years, most people, that's gonna be sort of three to six years, depending on how often, how often you can get down. And you know, just to, just to qualify for the belt, at that stage, you know, you, you're looking at things from you as a person, as a purple belt, you representing the gym on a deeper level. So wherever you go, oh, you got a blue belt from whoever, oh yeah, cool. You know, blue belt, we've probably not known you that long. Purple belt, you really are representing not just yourself, but us as the coaches, your training partners on the mat. And how you conduct yourself is very important. So you should be able to, to look after newer people, but still be able to raise your game to people who are more experienced safely 
um, carefully. Yeah, I'd say that's loosely what a purple belt is. 